yeah uh good evening candidates now uh, though i asked you to read a, a book today i thought it better to give you uh, a passage from chat gpt which tells about how we can improve our english communication ability now i request uh, each one of you to read and after our reading it we must talk about this briefly now we will start with mrs valarmathi continue improving your spoken english ability can be achieved through consistent practice and targeted efforts here are some strategies that can help you enhance your spoken english skills practice speaking regularly engage in conversations in english as frequently as possible this can be with native english speakers language exchange partners or even by speaking to yourself the key is to speaking to yourself means that is something funny huh what speaking tarakulliye pesikanuma paravalla mele padinga the key is to practice speaking aloud to build your confidence and fluency hmm. expand your vocabulary learn new words and phrases every day read english books newspapers or online articles to expose yourself to a wide range of vocabulary make a habit of noting down unfamiliar words and their meanings incorporate these new words into your conversations to enhance your spoken english wait wait Listen, wait, wait, to... wait 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 now among these words which word um, you are having some problem in knowing the proper meaning uh, are you comfortable with all the words yes sir i'm comfortable with all the words you are comfortable with all the what is incorporate incorporate Uh, use using the words into the conversation super good excellent now niranjana or can you read from number 3 yes sir yes sir i'll read listen attentively improve, improve your listening skills by actively listening to native english speakers watch movies tv shows and documentaries in english and listen to podcasts or audio books pay attention to the pronunciation intonation and rhythm of the language to develop a better understanding of spoken english hmm. mimic native speakers practice imitating the speech patterns and pronunciations of the native english speakers pay attention to their accent intonation and stress patterns this can help you improve your own pronunciation and develop a more natural sounding english okay one minute now next who has come anybody else has come only two of you continue niranjana continue engage in a uh, engage in language exchange programs find language exchange partners or join language exchange groups where you can practice speaking english with native speakers this allows you to have sir one minute because i was not knowing what is the meaning of the word intonation so i was searching english language please read from here number 5 english language read from here number 5 in engage yes sir sir engage in language exchange programs find language exchange partners or join language exchange groups where you can practice speaking english with native speakers this allows you to have a conversation with someone who is learning your native language giving both of you an opportunity to practice and improve your language skills very good um niranjana i think you are reading very fast are you aware of it huh? because yes, in this stage of our learning to speak in um, english not that you don't know english but try to read it slowly so that you understand okay, and appreciate every word what do you mean by the word intonation intonation sir, aware of aware of it, the words yeah intonation somewhere it came na where is it where it came intonation in third, in ah, third yeah. point in the fourth point the fourth point yeah, yeah. Please, please read this again practice imitating practice imitating the speech patterns and pronunciation of native english speakers pay attention to their accent intonation and stress patterns ah, this can help all. you improve your own pronunciation yeah intonation means please write down in your notebook if you have the rise and the fall of the voice in speaking intonation means modulation mat nama mati mati pesaro illaya see when you when you want to stress something you stress it with the um a force 
In fact, uh, Vallarmati was also stressing on one word. I was very happy when she made a stress on that word. I don't know. Vallarmati, are you aware you made a stress on one particular word while speaking? No, um, no uh, sir, I didn't. You didn't realize, but I noticed that and it was uh, somewhat really good. Anyhow, nice. Um, Niranjana, now we yes, will sir. go to page. We will... Or other words, okay, for imitating means what, Niranjana? Imitating means copying their uh, behavior. Accent means what? Accent means uh, slang. No, no, actually. The way of talking. Mm, accent means, uh, because each one of us have different way of pronouncing words. Accent means a yeah, distinctive mode of pronunciation of a language distinctive mode of pronunciation mm -hmm. of a language, especially one associated with a particular nation or locality or social class. For example, if you go to UK, people speak same English in a different way. Just as yes. in Tamil Nadu also we have people from Tirunelveli, they will be speaking Tamil in one way. People from Chennai, people like me, we will be speaking in a different way. That is known as accent now yes. uh, next is uh, our valarmati can you come to question point number 6 yes sir um seek feedback ask for feedback from native english speakers or language teachers they can provide valuable insights to areas you need to work on such as pronunciation grammar or sentence structure actively in, in, incorporate these suggestions into your spoken English practice. One minute. Record. He, no, listen. Uh, Valarmati, hear what happened. Hmm. Actively, a... in, actively incorporate their suggestions into your spoken English practice. That is how you have to read it. But yes, I don't know why you read it like this. Actively incorporate. The, you gave a gap there. That See why Okay. For, for improving our spoken English ability, the gap should be left only when it is required, when there is a comma, when there is a comma, when there is a full stop. But here it is a continuous sentence. Now read it again actively. Actively incorporate their suggestions into your spoken English practice. Very good. Continue. Record and listen to yourself. Record your own voice while speaking in English. Listen to the recordings to identify areas where you can improve, such as clarity, pronunciation, or grammar. Self-assessment can help you track your progress and make necessary adjustments. Mm. Use on use online resources and apps. Mm. There are numerous online resources and language learning apps available that offer speaking exercises, pronunciation guides, and interactive lessons. Mm. Take advantage of these tools to practice speaking English and receive instant feedback. Mm. Practice speaking in different situations. Uh, simulate, simulate real life situation. No, no. It should be it should be pronounced as simulate. Simulate. Simulate means create. Okay, sir. There is simulate. Simulate, mm. simulate real life situations and practice speaking English in various countries, such as ordering food at a restaurant making phone calls or giving presentations. This will help you develop confidence and fluency in different scenarios. Mm. Stay motivated and persistent. Improving your spoken English ability, ability takes time and effort. Set realistic goals. Stay motivated and maintain a consistent practice routine. Celebrate your progress along the way and don't get discouraged by occasional mistakes or challenges. Mm. Remember, practice and persistence are key when it comes to improving your spoken English ability. By incorporating these strategies into your language learning routine, you can enhance your fluency, confidence, and communication skills in English. Good. This is what it is. Here, simulate. Simulate means imitate the appearance or character. That is, you have to create, um, like for role play, you know, in... Um, uh, Niranjana will be knowing in her college and all, they will arrange for role play and all. I mean, uh, supposing she is an agricultural college, they can have a role play like this, that you are a banker and uh, you are going to talk to a farmer. 
So that, that is how the, the farmer will come and ask for some needs and the banker will listen and try to satisfy the need of the farmer. Like that, it can be done. Good. So I all of you have read it. Now, uh, now I would, two of, two of you have come just now, our Surudi and also our boy Bharadwaj. Bharadwaj. Yes, sir. Bharadwaj, you are from Kumbakonam, no? Ah, yes, sir. Yeah. Now, here the topic we were discussing is about how to improve our communication ability in English. This is what it is. I will make you read this afterwards. In the meantime, whatever ideas that comes to your mind, please put it in correct sentences. I want you to speak only five or six sentences. Talk about how do we develop our communication skill in English. Talk in six different sentences. Slowly, no hurry. Bharadwaj, how to develop our communication skill in English. Okay, sir. What happened? Shall I start, sir? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. First of all, communication developing is mainly to listening or reading or writing the language. First of all, we listen the language uh, through news, uh, news channels or uh, who are ex excellence in English or communication like that. After that, we must read the language through newspaper or books, poems like that. After that, we must uh, start to co communicate with others. If it is wrong or right, we first try to communicate with a uh, hope. Hmm. Okay, not bad. Now we will go to the next person. Sur Surti. Surti is the heroine of this class. Only because she asked for this class, I arranged. You know, Surti, when she appeared for our GD, and she was do she was doing okay, not so good, but okay. But still, she was not selected and that made her request me to go for this class. That's why this class was started. Suti, can you tell me how can we develop communication skill in English? Not uh, yes. Or uh, Suti, can, Suti, you cannot hear. I think she has not been able to hear because she has not joined. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. Now, we... We have time. We will spend um, next few minutes. Again, Mr. Bharadwaj, can you start reading this quickly? Improving your... Oh, okay, sir. Improving your spoken English ability can be achieved through consistent practice and targeted efforts. Here are some strategies that can help you enhance your spoken English skills. Practice speaking regularly. Engage in conversation in English as frequently as possible. This can be with native English speakers, language exchange partners, or even by speaking to yourself. This key is to practice speaking aloud to build your confidence and fluency. Okay. Expand your vocabulary. Mm. Learn new words and phrases every day. Read English books, newspaper, or online articles to expose yourself to a wide range of vocabulary. Make a habit of nothing down unfamiliar words. Yeah, hello, 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 hello. Make a habit of Noting down. Mm. You, pr words. you pronounce that as nothing down. Mm. Oh, sorry, sir. Mm. Noting, noting down. Mm. Noting down unfamiliar words and their meanings. Incorporate these new words into your conversation to enhance your spoken English. Mm. Listen, listen attentively. Mm. Listen attentively. Improve your listening skills by actively listening to native English speakers. Watch movies, TV shows, and documentaries in English, and listen to podcasts or audiobooks. Pay attention to the pronunciation, intonation, and rhythm of the language to develop a better understanding of spoken English. Mm. Mimic mm. native speakers. Mm. Mm. Practice imitating the speech patterns and pronunciation of native English speakers. Pay mm. attention to their accent, intonation, and their stress patterns. This can help you improve your own pronunciation and develop a more natural sounding English. Very good. Now I will ask uh, uh, Niranjana. I think you have not read these things. Anyhow, even if you have read, please read it again. Engage in 
Yes, sir. Engage in language exchange programs. So find language exchange partners or join language exchange exchange groups where you can speak, uh, practice speaking English with na native speakers. This allows you to have conversation with someone who is learning your native language, giving both of you an opportunity to practice and improve your language language skills. Seek feedback. Ask for feedback from a native uh, English speakers or language teachers. They can provide valuable insights into areas where you need to work on, such as pronunciation, grammar, or sentence structure. Actively incorporate their suggestions into your spoken English practice. Yeah. Record and listen to yourself. Mm. Record. Continue. Record and listen to yourself. Yeah, Record I think I th one minute. Sruti's, uh, com Sruti's mic, has, mic is all right now. Sruti, can you read from here? Number seven. Uh, yes, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. Please read. Record and listen to yourself. Record your own voice while speaking in English. Listen to the recordings to identify areas where you can improve, such as clarity, pronunciation, or grammar. Self-assessment can help you to track your progress and make necessary adjustments. Mm. Use online resources and apps. There are numerous online resources and language learning apps available that offer speaking exercises, pronunciation guides, and interactive lessons. Take advantage of these tools to practice speaking and receive speaking English. Instant, uh, yeah, to practice speaking English and receive instant feedback. Mm. Practice speaking in different situations. Simulate real-life situations and practice speaking English in various contexts such as ordering food at restaurant, making phone calls, or giving presentations. This mm. will help you to develop confidence and fluency in different scenarios. Mm. Stay motivated mm. and persistent. Mm. Improving your spoken English ability takes time and effort. Set realistic goals, stay motivated, and maintain a consistent practice routine. Celebrate your progress along the way, and don't get discouraged by occasional mistakes or challenges. Mm. Remember, practice and persistence are key when it comes to improving your spoken English ability. By incorporating these strategies into your language learning routine, you can enhance your fluency, confidence, and communication skills in English. Good, Suruti, you read well. Good, good, good. Just Thank now you. I was appreciating about you. Only because of you, this class was started. Because you only asked me, sir, this class is required. That is why this class was started. Thank you for initiating that ability. Now, the spoken English, I am posting this in our um, this thing. Now, all of you will have a group discussion on how to develop our spoken english ability you have read it already now i i would request first uh, valarmati second niranjana third bharadwaj fourth sruti to speak on this in your own way again if it is completed early we can have another round please speak valarmati yes sir yes sir uh, nowadays communication is very important in each and every part of life so we have to improve our communication. Uh, we have we must improve our communication. So how to improve? Com I am going to tell you how to improve our communication. First of all, uh, the main thing to improve our communication is to think everything in English. Then only we can able to speak what we uh, what we think and how to express. Then only we can express. And at the at the same time, watching English movies. Uh, newspaper reading newspapers uh, uh, and English news English news at uh, news all those things are uh, no, no, all those no, things no no Valarbati you are struggling you are struggling are you aware you are struggling you are not able to come out well now restart again restart right from the okay. big you don't have to speak many sentences Talk okay, three or four sentences correctly. Okay, sir. Come on. Okay, sir. Uh, communication is very important, so we have to uh, come. We have to communicate properly. So for that, uh, we have to think everything in English. At the same time, we have to talk with some others in English that helps us to improve our communication skill. Uh, communication skill, and watching movies uh, and newspapers uh, helps us to learn uh, uh, listen, English. Listen, listen. 
watching mu <laughs> watching movies and newspapers is it correct english and reading newspaper reading newspaper mm. yes sir reading newspaper helps us to uh, improve our communication skill very good and, next uh, niranjana niranjana yes sir uh, to improve our english we just need to uh, stay consistent in our learning process uh, we can uh, learn uh, to speak english in various ways like uh, watching movies hearing english songs reading newspapers and we have to practice daily uh, and improve our vocabulary by learn we can uh, improve our vocabulary by learning new words phrases and okay. everything I... okay sufficient sufficient next bharadwaj bharadwaj ah okay sir communication is a important key in everywhere like a gd interview like that uh, we want to improve our english through three phases listening writing and speaking First of all, mm. we must listen all the people who have been speaking the English language through YouTube videos, news channels, and native English speakers like that. After that, we must try to write the sentences with our own format, with some grammatical terms, like writing the essays, leave letters, or letters like that. After that, we must speak with one each other to improve our English with the next level. Very good. Next, Suruti. Yes, sir. Uh, English is a global language. It is used by majority of the people in all over the world. So, uh, studying English or learning English is very important in our day-to-day -day life, which can help us to uh, get know by getting knowledge on this. We can communicate to other people uh, to through english so that uh, the communication becomes easy with the other countries of foreign people uh, then uh, mm. english is the language which is used by all over the uh, internet and all everything we see we use the language english so Achha. understanding Sriti, are you aware you are repeating the same point uh, ah. uh, how to say valarapati um, tell in malayalam uh, you are uh, you are repeating the same point but sl slightly differently. Tell in Malayalam. Yes. I don't know Malayalam that much. So. Achha, achha. Malayalam <laughs> I can understand, but replace some simple thing only. No problem. Achha, you are Sriti, you are telling Sriti. about um, say using English being universal language, it is used all over the world. The same point you are repeating once, twice. Like that. We should avoid a repetition of the same points in especially GDs. Group discussions when we speak, uh, we should speak different words, different points. So, For example, I speak like this. We can improve our spoken English ability by talking to people always in English. The same sentence I am going to tell differently. Always, we must try to speak in English with people. So, when I do like this, the listener can easily understand. I am trying to, uh, I am not clear about my ideas and I am repeating the same points. So, we should avoid that. Now, I request, uh, uh, what is your name? Suruti, please read the passage that is there on the screen. As of my knowledge, are you seeing India problems of banking sector now? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, please read. As of my knowledge, first of in September 21, here are some challenges and issues faced by the banking sector in India. Please note the situation uh, may have evolved since then. Evolved. No, evolved. Mm. Non-performing assets. One of the significant challenges in the Indian banking sector has been the high level of non-performing assets which are loans that have not been repaid for a specified period. NPAs can result in financial instability for banks and can impact their profitability and ability to lend further. Yeah. Next. Continue. Recapitalization and capital adequacy. Many Indian banks have been grappling with capital adequacy issues. Inadequate capitalization makes banks vulnerable to financial shocks and limits their lending capacity. The government has initiated recapitalization measures to address this issue. 
but it remains an ongoing concern. Very good. Next, Ms. Um, Bharadwaj, please read number three. Bharadwaj, Bharadwaj is there or not? Yes, sir, I'm here, sir. Yeah, please read. Governance. Governance and management issues. Some banks have faced governance and management problems, including issues related to transparency, risk management, and corporate governance practices. These issues can undermine the overall stability and trust in the banking system. Mm -hmm. Technological transformation. The banking system sector in India is undergoing a digital transformation with increasing adoption of technology and online banking services. While this brings convenience and efficiency, it also presents challenges in terms of cybersecurity threats, data privacy concerns, and the need for upskilling the workforce to adapt to the changing technological landscape. Very, very good. Next, Valarmati. Yes, sir. Financial inclusion. Despite progress, a significant portion of the population in India remains unbanked or underbanked, particularly in rural areas. Ensuring financial inclusion and expanding access to banking services to all segments of society remains a challenge. Uh, regulatory environment. The banking sector operates under the purview of various regulators, including the Reserve Bank of India and other financial authorities. Balancing regulatory oversight with promoting growth and innovation can be a delicate task. Yeah, very good. Oh, One minute. So this is a very important point for... Uh, those who are appearing for FCCB. Now, I request Niranjana to read this, number seven. Yes, sir. Fraud and cyber security risk. The increasing reliance on digital uh, digital banking has led to an escalation in fraud and cyber security risk. Banks need to invest in robust security measures to protect customer data and mitigate the risk of uh, financial frauds. It is important to note that the banking sector is dynamic and subject to uh, and subject to changes and developments over time. For, for the most up-to-date information on challenges faced by the Indian banking sector, it is advisable to refer recent reports, news articles, and official sources. Very good. Uh, now, I don't know when all of you are reading are you reading with an intention of remembering or are you reading for the sake of reading? There are two types of reading. One is what I do, I simply read. I don't try to remember in my mind. Whereas uh, for you people, what is required is you must try to remember them and so that you can speak about it later on. So kindly remember whenever you are reading, you must read telling repeatedly within yourself, I am remembering this, I am remembering this. When you tell like that and read, it will certainly help you. Very good. Now, incidentally, I want to tell um, Niranjana. Niranjana, in the yes, I, I have posted a video about success in Federal Bank interview. Did you watch that? You must no, sir. you must keep in touch with my channel. Whenever I am posting anything relating to Federal Bank, you must watch that because everything I am doing only because, see, this is the question they have asked in the recent FCCE interview questions. Reporting in progress. This is Federal Bank FCCE interview questions asked in Trivandrum. This, this candidate was asked, what do you know about Federal Bank? What do you know about the FCCS program? What is money laundering? Then why a sudden change from psychology to banking? This candidate studied psychology. Then about family. Then uh, she was also asked, what if you are selected, what will be your role after in this career after two years? This interview was conducted in Trivandrum. So candidates are requested to go through KYC, anti-money laundering, then other compliance requirements in detail. Thank you. Yeah, so that is one question. And then federal ban is, um, yeah. Yeah, this is one PO campus. 
So I have you please go through that A 2022. Are you aware of that link in the folder, Niranjana? Niranjana. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, in that folder, I have given you what are the questions they have asked for a candidate who has come out successful yesterday or day before yesterday. She has studied MSc Mathematics and they have asked very simple questions. Tell me about yourself. Tell about to stay at Federal Bank. Then tell about your family. Likewise, simple questions only they are asking. So be ready yes, for such questions. Okay? okay you are in your interview date is not known yet, na? Yes, sir. Okay. You can take an interview later on. Yadu Krishnan. Yadu Krishnan, you have come very late or you have come for next interview, probably. Yadu Krishnan? Yes, yes sir. You have come for interview? Yes, sir. Very good. Very, good. very good. Nice. Yeah, we will sir, have... How, how many, sir, how, yeah. how many persons cleared the FCC in all of FCC, FCC, you know, yes. result, result has yes. not. FCC okay. from GD, our group success has been really good. Nearly 50% um, of people cleared the GD. But the final results of uh, interview will be known only after completion of all the interviews. 22nd, 23rd, 24th, three days. Or, uh, yeah, maybe even after that, there will be one more round in the 26th or 27th. After that, only we will know. But from what, the way they are asking questions, they are asking very simple questions only, not tough ones. That's what it is. We have, yeah, time is getting over. Thank you so much for coming. Tomorrow, uh, say when you come, I request you to prepare on um say in the whatsapp what is the topic uh, spoken english some topics are all i have given you you know among that which topic shall we take um, uh, social media bane or boom all of you please read that thoroughly once twice not only believe what i have given you look at it from your own angle tomorrow when you come here all of you must be present here exactly at 7.30 or 7.32. Uh, I will try to be here on time so that we get full 30 minutes and during which time we can start talking among each other. The idea is spoken English and regarding other nouns, verbs, grammar and all, you can go through that and if at any stage you need some clarification, you can tell me we can go through that and revise them also. Thank you. Thank you so much. Best wishes. We will meet again tomorrow. You know, I am not able to decide about conducting class for one hour on a time because, you know, of the other interviews I am having. Maybe after a few days when all these interviews come to an end and I have more time at my disposal, I will arrange for... Uh, say one hour class or for 45 minutes class or 50 minutes class like that. So that will be better. But at the same time, all of you start reading banking and Niranjana, you must read that guidely, guidely material. Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. Please go through that. Go through the questions I have given to, uh, recently on top. Prepare from that angle. Okay, sir. Thank you. Best wishes. Um, we, I'm looking forward to your participating actively tomorrow on social media is a boon or bane. And if you want, you write your own sentences in your notebook, mug up, come here and don't read from that. Speak. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.